revolution. The L.A. riots happened because of disintegrating family values. It doesn't help matters when primetime TV has Murphy Brown, a character who supposedly epitomizes today's intelligent, highly paid professional woman, mocking the importance of fathers by bearing a child alone and calling it just another lifestyle choice. Kathy, you sit there. Bud, pull up a chair. I'll get this one for Mommy. There's nothing like hamburgers for Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh, I'm starving. So am I. You know something? This is the happiest unhappy Thanksgiving I've ever spent. <laughs> well, I feel I'd like to say thanks in a rather special way. Oh, Lord, we give thee thanks from the depths of our humble hearts for all the blessings thou hast seen fit to bestow upon us. We thank thee for the food which graces our table, the roof which covers our head. We thank thee for the privilege of living as free men in a country which respects our freedom and our personal rights to worship and think and speak as we choose. We thank thee for making us a family, for giving us sincerity and understanding. But most of all, dear Lord, we thank thee for giving us the greatest gift a family may know, the gift of love for one another. Amen. It was nice and dull, but your father applauded. We talked to Mr. Armstead afterward. What'd he say? What's the verdict? You're all to be shot at sunrise. <laughs> hey, CB. See this daddy, man. Yeah? Open the door. Charlie and daddy want to say goodnight, man. Yeah? I'm saying goodnight, CB. Motherfuckers, come in and get me. I'm ready for you. Well, come in now, honey. Jesus Christ, she's a diamond. Am I that bad that you got a drink? What are you looking at? Come here. Take a good look.
<laughs> no. That's right. It seems that for him, the only acceptable definition of a family is a mother, a father, and children. And in a country where millions of children grow up in non-traditional families, that definition seems painfully unfair. Perhaps it's time for the vice president to expand his definition and recognize that whether by choice or circumstance, families come in all shapes and sizes. And ultimately, what really defines a family is commitment, caring, and love.